we are just a few seconds from engaging in some fantastic roller derby action. We have our visiting team, Madison Roller Derby, Dairyland Doll B Team. And our home team, our host for this tournament weekend, the Minnesota Roller Girls, Minnesota Nice. It's the battle of the Midwestern uh, big wigs of roller derby. These B teams are skating for all the glory this weekend, bringing home the gold, or, you know, keeping the gold at home. Hi, Stompy. Oh, yeah, we should introduce these lovely skaters. Let's do that as we get our first jam nearly underway. I'm so excited for this bout. I'm standing up again. All Got right. Lil Rascal jamming for the Minnesota Nice, and she's up there against. I've not even looked at Madison's La March Madness. Who that is? Lil Rascal has lead jammer to begin this roller derby game. Scooting around on a scoring pass. Four points on the board for Minnesota. That is Minnesota in black. And Aqua, of course, and uh, the Dairyland Dolls of Madison in their trademark blue. Probably because it rhymes with moo, as far as I can tell. That's that's a good instinct. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Little Rascal gets hit out on the outside. Quick re-entry against a uh, stern wall of Madison blockers. Little Rascal is out again for four more points on that pass. We have our Madison Pivot that's become the jammer. Still on that initial pass as Little Rascal has one more to face. She is out again. Looks like Hell Woods is now the listed jammer for the dolls. We've got the nice and the dolls. The dolls, of course, being the Dairyland Dolls of Madison. The nice being the Minnesota nice. Lil Rascal getting Minnesota off to a strong start in that first jam. Whistle has been called. Minnesota loses one blocker to the penalty box. Dairyland Dolls still on their initial pass. Lil Rascal scooting on her toe stops. Scoring again. She's got 20 points accrued so far. Dairyland Dolls seem to be shifting their focus to defense and Dolls Jammer gets out just at the whistle. That was a huge jam for Little Rascal. Huge jam for Little Rascal and Minnesota Nice, ending that first jam of the first period to a uh, score of 21, I'm sorry, 24 to 0. Looks like Nat Splat to the jam line for the Dolls. She's up there with Breezus. Breezes is your lead jammer. Nat Splat hot on her tail, not wanting to be beat. <laughs> she just, the, the doll's jammer just screeched at her opponent when she turned around to look at her. That was really great. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. I like, just saw that big smile. Well, she, was, she did the smile and she did the screech, oh. like uh, intimidation as well. I while understand. chasing her opponent. That was fantastic. It's nothing more intimidating when you're chasing someone down to be screeching at them all that same time. Do you think we should take this opportunity to introduce these two okay, teams? Okay, well, I, I know, I know. Right, just quick, we're going to say who the jammers are. That's uh, T-Rex out there for the nice and... Crystal Chris Ice for Madison Roller uh, right, Dairyland Dolls. Who else we got Dolls. here from... Uh, you, do the, you do Minnesota. All right. You know these girls. Our Minnesota Roller Girls, number 011 Baller, number 0707 Valkyrie, number 14 Breezes, Number 161, Rampage. Number 1764, Madame de Stompador. Number 19, Iser Slam. Number 299, Sodium Fina. Number 313, Kong Pao Bitchin. Number 33, Little Rascal. Number 34, Pretty Rackless. Number 65, Jamming Right Now, T Rex. Number 75, Day of Reckoning. Number 82, Brutal Brit. 
number 87, Esmer Helda, and number 989, Itches Be Trippin'. And their opponents tonight, the Madison Roller Derby Dairyland Doll B Team, number 1967, Jocelyn Hell, number 2, Critical Tits, number 215, Booty Collins, number 218, Toast, number 238, Radio Smackdiv, number 262, Nat Slat, number 270, Slyonide, number 273, Crystal Ice, number 314, Gertrude Awakening, Number 48, Micro Mauler. Number 672, Lamarce Madness. Number 7184, Wolf Rammer. Number 7734, Hell Woods. And number 800, Bada Boom Box. Some sassy names in that roster. Both Accurate. of those rosters. Yes. All right. We will start this jam. Valkyrie headed to the penalty box on a track cut. That leaves Gertrude Awakening on the track. Lee Jammer's status may be open. Pushed out by number 313. That was Kung Pao Bitchin on that offensive move. Gertrude Awakening is your lead jammer. Signaling to her players to play some offense on this power jam. Goes for an apex jump, not quite successful. Has to bring it back again. Minnesota Nice looking to contain. Gave Awakening does a, or I'm sorry, Gave Reckoning does a great job hustling back up to the front of the pack to rejoin Minnesota Blockers. Dairy Land Dolls <laughs> offense. In action, Valkyrie coming out of the box and on now a scoring pass opportunity. Jam is called off by Gertrude Awakening. Earns four points on that jam. Minnesota Nice gets zero points on that jam after the jammer returned to the track. That's all good. All right, we will see uh, LaMarche Madness on the line again for the Dolls. Madison and jamming for Minnesota Nice. We have number 299, Sodium Fina. Madison gains lead jammer status in best jam. LaMarche Madness out first. Star has been passed for Minnesota. It just be tripping, taking the star for Minnesota. LaMarche Madness says, I think I'm good. Calls the jam, gets her four points. So that would be this jam, Minnesota, zero points. Madison gets four. Score is now 29 to 11. Back to the jam line, Little Rascal, who started this one off with, was that 24? 24. Points? 24 of the 29 points came in the first jam of this bout, thanks to Little Rascal. We'll see if she can replicate that. She's lined up with uh, Nat Splat, I believe, for the dolls. We have already seen Nat Splat on the line a few times already. Nat Splat is your lead jammer. Little Rascal heads to the box. Nat Splat will have control of this jam. Big hit by, that was Baller. You can always see when it's Baller because she's going to be sparkling at you. I was, I was looking at the blue hair, honestly. Yeah, that'll do it too. Yeah. As Nat Splat attempts to communicate with her blockers to ensure uh, maximum scoring Comes into the pack hot. Again, another big hit by Baller. Takes that jammer needing to get back into the position to re-enter legally. That allows for time. Time that Little Rascal could use. Put on that jammer star, get out of the pack. And Dairy Landall score three points on that pass. I think I have to strengthen my announcer chops. My voice is starting to crack a little bit. I recommend drinking water. Stay that hydrated. That's rule number one of announcing. That's a great idea. Stay hydrated. 
so you don't sound like a boy in puberty with your voice cracking all over. I ideally, you're ideally. right. Ideally, yes. that's what you'd avoid, ideally. yes. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go ahead and we'll announce what's going on on this first jam. Breezes for Minnesota being sent early to the penalty box. That will leave number 273, Crystal Ice, as the lone jammer for the Madison Dairyland Dolls. Well, Minnesota jumped out to that big lead after a single jam, 24-0, but Madison's been chipping away ever since, and a couple of jammer penalties to Minnesota have certainly helped Madison's cause. At this point, uh, the blockers of Minnesota are the story of this jam, as there's just one big scrum. You can barely even spot Madison's jammer inside there. Just got to look for the star on the hat, surrounded by black jerseys. And if that is taking place, that would be considered successful defense for Minnesota against that Madison jammer. Just get that jammer wedged right in there. Breezes coming out of the box, and as the cliche goes, into your hearts, as it were. That's right. So Breezes not lead. Somebody lost a wheel, or, or maybe it was a toe stop. Breezes might be taking advantage of that confusion, gets through on a scoring pass. Yeah, the pack has just been this, like, amoeba slowly oozing its way around the track. And here's Breezes just zipping through. Breezes again finds that line, takes it. Madison has their jammer in the pack right now. Madame de Stompador sitting on that jammer. Breezes getting through for another scoring pass. She might be trying to match Little Rascal's scoring record on a single jam. Well, she did have uh, a good 30 seconds less. Oh, Breezes makes it around the apex jump, catches a skate, but still manages to get through and get those four points. Mm -hmm. Quick recovery with these jammers. Wow. So 45, wait. Yeah, Minnesota brings their lead up 20. No, oh, it was 29, so yes. to 45, so 16 is ah, the number. Indeed. Indeed. So a 16-point jam. So so far the pattern has been a uh, huge jam for Minnesota. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Huge jam. Whereas the Dolls uh, following a more conventional scoring pass to get to their 18 points. So 45 is 9 times 5, and 18 is 9 times 2. So a 5 to 2 scoring ratio Ooh. at the current time. Oh, very nice. I mean, today's the last day of school, at least in the St. Paul public schools. Well, I graduated a few weeks ago, so I've been out of that's school right, for right. a few you weeks. That's right. You totally forgot all the math Everything is gone. Everything well, is gone. congratulations on well, your graduation <laughs> yet again. Well, thank you. <laughs> yes. All right. And we have, we have roller derby fans keeping us honest here, keeping our math intact. Minnesota nice. Fans claim amazing people, better skaters. Minnesota Roller Girls, a, fa a force of nature with more rainbows. I didn't know that nature could have more rainbows than it already did. T-Rex ah. back to the line for the nice Gertrude Awakening for the all. Looks like T-Rex toward the front of the pack, Gertrude Awakening toward the back. It's going to be T-Rex out front, lead jammer for the nice. T-Rex always so enthusiastic. I'm not going to say she seems surprised every time she gets lead jammer, but she sure is excited about it. I, I would agree with that. I have skated against her, and she seems to do an excellent job, always keeping her feet moving and a smile on her face. That's right. Having seen her opponent get through the pack, uh, calls that one off. So 4-0 in favor of the nice that time. I guess you don't need to score 16 or 24 points at a jam. Not you can just get four. Yeah, I'm not making a huge point difference on that, but just keeping your opponent at zero, that'll, that'll work its way through to success is the key. Valkyrie back to the line for the nice, lining up there with LaMarche Madness for the Dairyland Dolls. And it's gonna be LaMarche Madness out front, lead jammer for the Dolls in blue. Valkyrie though, not giving up for anything. Steps around while LaMarche Madness is in scoring position. 
the Marsh Madness makes an informed decision to stop the jam before Valkyrie can score any points on that jam. Although Madison picks up two, so that would be considered a successful jam for Madison coming out ahead score differential wise. Right you are, Shug. Why, thank you, Reverend Killjoy. Hashtag goals. Yeah. Rascal is back for the nice lined up there once again with Nat Splat of the Dairyland Dolls. Nat Splat, lead jammer. Little Rascal takes a tumble in turn two, but not to be left behind. She is up and at them. Nat Splat in a scoring position. Calls off the jam. Did Little Rascal come in quickly enough to score any points for the Minnesota Nice, or did Dairyland Dolls shut Minnesota down? They, they did shut Minnesota down. Dairyland Dolls put points on the board this jam. Minnesota, a goose egg. So a 4-0 jam, 49-24, to 24, the current score. Breezes as the jammer for the Minnesota Nice. Madison's jammer, number 273, Crystal Ice. So Breezes for the Nice for Madison Crystal Ice. Breezes out first, lead jammer, pulled back by the Madison Pivot number seven. Is that mm, Hal Woods? There we go. Yes, the legally blonde reference name. Ah, that one, that one. Let's see. Clue me in here. There's a, a film and a musical called Legally Blonde, and the protagonist is, character's name is Elle Woods. Elle Woods. Okay, not like Elwood, like from no. the Blues Brothers. No. Close, though, right? Okay, I get it now. Thank you. I mean, I could be wrong about the reference, but I, I'm pretty sure. Now that you say it, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Baller with a huge hit. Jammers from Madison steps back in. Oh. Boy, when a, when a three wall can knock the jammer back to where somebody was stretching out the pack, that is some seriously impressive blocking. Mm -hmm. Breezes back on the track. Madison Blocker looking to recover that position. Amid shouts of call it, call it, we note that there is no, uh, there appears to be no lead jammer. I see Hell Woods, I believe, with the jammer star in her hands right now. Madison assessing the situation before Breezes comes around on that next scoring pass. That looks to be another jam where Minnesota Nice will come out ahead. They scored 12 points to Dairyland Dolls three. Bringing our score to 61 to 27 with about just under three, 13 and a half minutes left in this first half. T-Rex back to the line for the nice Gertrude awakening for the Dolls. T-Rex moving side to side, Gertrude Awakening trying to forge her way through that wall. T-Rex is out first, your lead jammer. Gertrude Awakening has exited from her initial pass. Beautiful apex jump from Gertrude Awakening, making it look easy. That's right, in Minnesota, uh, T-Rex was stuck in the back of the pack. She was still skating, and it looks like that gamble did not exactly pay off. Looks like three points for T-Rex to four for the Dolls. But when you've got a lead, sometimes you take that risk, kill some clock, and uh, trust your blockers. That's true. 
And whether or not it works out, sometimes you have to uh, you know, cut your losses when you see that you want to mitigate further damage, not throw good clock time after bad. <laughs> That's what they say, yes. As, as they do. Sodium Fina for the nice. Out there with... Uh, Lamarche Madness again. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. Lamarche Madness finds an inside line. She is your lead jammer. Madison in control of this jam period. Star has been past two inches be tripping for the nice. Jam is called off, ref issuing a penalty for a multiplayer to one of the blockers. So the Minnesota Nice will start one blocker down from the penalty box. Madison putting out to jam Nat Splat, who's been a force of jamming this game so far, as has Little Rascal. My memory tells me that Nat, Sma Nat Splat won, uh, or at least got the better of the previous matchup between these two jammers, and she does so again, bouncing from the, out from the inside to the outside and finding an open lane to get lead for the Dolls. Rascal also uh, onto the scoring pass, hot on Nat's heels, so hit the pack, call it off. 0-0 zero, zero is the score in that jam. With those jammers so close between, Nat Splat had to make that decision to end that jam and call it off quickly, almost right upon approaching the pack. Very well timed on Madison's part. When a jammer knows their opponent is, is hot on their heels and they know they have one shot to hit the pack and call it off. And however many points you got on that initial uh, shot into the pack, that's what you're there with. That time, uh, the nice defender is able to keep the score to zero. Valkyrie is the first jammer to get out. She will be awarded lead jammer status. Sodium Fina playing some vicious offense. Valkyrie coming out on front has to be like go on a scoring pass after making her first with four points. Apex jump from Valkyrie. Again, making it look easy with those Apex jumps. Sorry, isn't isn't Val a, a rookie this year in the Minnesota Roller Girls? Um, she or this it, past season? It's her first uh, season on the Minnesota Roller Girls All-Star team. She has had prior roller derby experience. Right, right. Valkyrie finding success on the outside line for another pass. Minnesota, even a, a, with one blocker in the box, holding the Madison Jammer at bay, which is the pivot holding the Jammer star in her hand. Valkyrie swinging that ax, coming through for another pass. Yeah, Val has really been able to muscle through these uh, dolls' packs on most of these scoring passes. Ooh, takes a big hit that time though from Bada Boom Box, aptly named. Very much so. Pivot maybe playing, uh, or pivot term jammer, maybe just playing a little bit of defensive sort of uh, move back at the end of that jam. High scoring jam for Minnesota. Valkyrie with 23 points. Almost, almost coming up to the record that Little Rascal set on that first jam of the period with 24 points. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a number of these jams where they've been played really close and then a number of these jams on Minnesota has exploded for big points. Mm -hmm. The official review called by the Madison Roller Derby Dairyland Dolls B team as each team has a coach and a captain out there to uh, explain the situation to auto-correct the referee of record. 
don't forget during halftime of this game to pick up some merch that you won't find in the state of Minnesota normally with lovely anthems including Get Out The Way, as it were. So get all your dairy and cheese puns fulfilled, all those dreams. That's true, yeah. Yeah. Plenty of dairy and cheese puns, absolutely. I hear that Madison's Dairyland dolls aspire to breathe the best they can breathe. Well, good for them. <laughs> so we've got uh, a whole weekend of roller derby here. This is just the beginning. These two bouts tonight, then we go most of the day tomorrow, as well as three more bouts on Sunday. Most of these are the uh, B teams, like the Minnesota Knights, but we also do have a charter A team game tomorrow evening, I believe, as well as a juniors game on Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. Yeah, I'll be I'll be helping with the uh, Minnesota Frostbite, the junior roller derby team of the Minnesota Roller Girls, uh, that will be at 2 p.m. tomorrow. But we have plenty of derby lined up for this entire weekend, so do be sure to come back the next two days for more fabulous roller derby action. That's right. For those of you watching at home, you can tell us what you think at hashtag nice day 2019. I guess if you're in the building, you can also do that. But why not watch derby instead of being on your Twitters? I guess maybe after the game you could do that. Yeah. Or during. Breeze us back to the jam line and back with the lead for the nice, extremely effective jammer so far this evening. Big hit, though, by the Dairyland Pivot. Rezus needing to take herself back to the back of the pack. A hoppity step almost makes it out. Recovers to the inside and then back on the track. And who is that uh, jamming for the Dairyland Dolls? I don't even know. Oh, Gertrude Awakening. Gertrude Awakening. So we are over just a minute into this, and Gertrude Awakening is the first jammer out, but is not lead. No, Breezes had gotten through pretty easily on that first pass and ah. then was uh, really stuck on that first scoring pass. So the initial pass was, was a breeze for Breezes, <laughs> but then uh, the scoring was much tougher. Did still get those four points through the course of being stuck in that pack. All right, thank you. I, I just got caught up in all the uh, excitement and strong defense of both of those teams. It happens to the best of us. Well, thank you. T-Rex and LaMarche Madness back to the line for their respective teams. 91 to 33 is the listed score with just over six minutes left on the period clock of the first half of the second bout of the Have a Nice Day tournament from beautiful Doug Woog Arena here in South St. Paul, Minnesota. We can see from this angle, even after LaMarche Madness is out on a scoring pass, T-Rex continues to hit, hit, trying to get out. LaMarche Madness makes a nice move on the apex to get out and exit the pack. T-Rex will be awarded lead jammer status, so is in control of the timing of the remainder of this jam as LaMarche Madness emerges from the pack after scoring more points. And Rex does get through and get those four points, but I believe that's eight thus far for LaMarche Madness. And so T-Rex is going to call this one off, uh, cut her losses at that point, and trust her teammates to continue to increase that Minnesota lead. 95-45 is your listed score. Five minutes left in the first half. I'm going to do some more announcer math. Uh, we have almost a two-to-one ratio for our score differential, 50 points. 50 point difference. 2.1 repeating, no, <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll leave you to that. Sodium Fina for Minnesota Nice Jamming and for the Dairyland Dolls, that's 262 Nat Splat.
Sodium Fina is your lead jammer. Nat Splat not far behind at all, chasing, chasing that jammer down. I enjoyed Sodium Fina noticing that she was being chased so closely. And Nat Splat perfectly happy to go 4-4 four, four on that jam. That is a successful jam, even when you don't get lead to be sneaky and fast enough to gain points against your opponent when they hold the key to lead jammer and calling it off. Little rascal back to the line for the nice. Lined up once again with Crystal Ice for the Dolls. It's gonna be Rascal out front lead. Remember this bout started off with Rascal getting lead and scoring a quick, tidy 24 points in a single jam. And she's uh, looking to break her own record here with those first four in the books. One blocker in the box from each team, so it's three on three against each jammer. Lil Rascal toward the front of the pack, Madison's jammer toward the back. Lil Rascal's through again for four more points. Pivot takes the star for the Dolls. Donning the star is number 218 Toast. And Rascal calls that one off. Zero, zero on that last pass. So uh, that would be a 12 point to zero jam in favor of the nice. 111.49 is the listed score. With just under two and a half minutes left to play in this first half. Lining up with the Jammer Stars is number 0707 Valkyrie and number 314 Gertrude Awakening. Both Jammers we have seen before lining up with the star. And we've got a penalty called uh, on Val, so she's headed to the box. That makes us a power jam for the Dolls. Lee Jammer, however, has not been awarded yet. And in fact, now it is Dairyland Dolls in control with Lee Jammer awarded to Gertrude Awakening. Nice inside move there. Very on turn quick two. feet. Mm -hmm. to get those four points. And this time it goes to the outside, barely has to break momentum. And Gertrude Awakening is building some momentum here for the Dolls in this jam. That time goes around the outside again, faces one blocker, but not enough to stop her. So 12 points and counting for the Dolls in this one as Val is back on the track. Gertrude Awakening gets a big hit out from Kong Pao. Jam is called off. Looks like we will have one more jam to this period with just over 30 seconds now as we begin our lineup. So a tidy little 15-point jam there for Gertrude Stop, uh, Gertrude Awakening. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, it's late. <laughs> 111 to 64. All right, Lamarche Madness out to jam for the Dairyland Dolls. Tries to tie up Breezes in the back. Bit of a tumble against the Minnesota blockers. Breezes is out first. She's your lead jammer. This will be the last jam of the period. Breezes calling off that jam. And our intermission has begun. We will see you back for the beginning of the second half. Continuing our game. 
the listed score 111 to 64 in favor of your hometown Minnesota Nice. We'll see you in just about 10 minutes back here at the Doug Woog.
We are nearly back with a second half of roller derby. And friends, again, if you have that red Mazda Miata, your lights do still remain on. So be sure if you have, if you own, if you're renting, if you have stolen that car, please get to your car and turn off your red Mazda Miata lights off. Thank you. It's the second half. Hey, oh. And what a second half we have for you today. T Rex jamming for Minnesota Nice and Nat Splat for the Dairyland Dolls. Nat Splat is your lead jammer. T Rex making a run for it, coming out r very shortly behind her. Calls off the jam. Great job by Nat listening to her coach and calling it off immediately when that was shouted. So a 2-0 jam in favor of the Dolls. <laughs> Sodium Fina for the Minnesota Nice at the jam line. Crystal Ice for the Madison Dairyland Dolls. This only the second jam of the second half. Both packs doing their best. We've got Sodium Fina recycling all the way to the back, courtesy of Hell Woods. And that allows the lead jam to go to Madison. So Crystal Ice all the way around engages in her scoring pass but runs into a very strong three wall now finally getting some offensive blocking help and calls off this jam after a shot from Gay of Reckoning of the Nice. So 3-0 in favor of the Dolls that time. So a 2-0 jam and a 3-0 jam. That's what you call chipping away at a lead. Gertrude Awakening and Little Rascal to the line for their respective teams. Again, for those watching at home, Minnesota Nice in black and the Dairyland Dolls of Madison in blue. It is going to be Little Rascal of the Minnesota Nice, your lead jammer for the third jam of the second half. For those who missed it, Little Rascal did score a cool 24 points in her first jam, which was the first jam of this bout. So Minnesota's had a lead since the very beginning. Little Rascal adding to that lead right now. Another four points on the board. Minnesota's, oh, Minnesota's jam uh, bench coach signaling to Rascal to continue skating as she is, makes another scoring pass on this jam. Yeah, when she's on, she's really on tonight. Yeah, she's been having quite a lot of success once she gets going on a tear. And Ger finally, uh, Gertrude Awakening free on the scoring pass, and that means that Little Rascal's gonna call this one off. So it should have been a 16 to zero jam. Just a nice leisurely 16 zero jam. No big deal. Nah, whatever. Just an easy day, walk through the park. No reason to overexert yourself <laughs> with so much derby left to be skated. That's true, we have over 26 minutes in this roller derby game. Possibly ready to exert themselves are the blockers on the track as well as Minnesota Jammer Valkyrie and Dairyland Dolls jammer LaMarche Madness. LaMarche is out first as your lead jammer. Standing next to the Minnesota Nice third base folks, we hear some things, some strategy. March Madness, I'm sorry, LaMarche Madness is also playing it smart, calling it off before Star Pass 
to the jammer has I lost my train of thought. It happens. But Don't yeah. worry. Don't worry. <laughs> See, the so nice there was a star pass, and then the uh, and then Madison called it off before Minnesota was able to score. The problem with the phrase train of thought is, like, on a real train, you don't have to drive. You can just sit and not pay attention. But a train of thought, you have to keep paying attention the whole time. It should be car of thought, because if you stop paying attention driving a car, or somebody's going to get hurt. Bus Well, no, because you get to ride on a bus, too. That's oh, the that's thing. true, unless you're the like, bus driver. If you driver. have to pay attention, like a bike of thought, you know? <laughs> that's okay. a very valid point. Breezus is your lead jammer for the nice... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and that's say Splat. that's Nat Splat. Yeah. You can tell it's Nat Splat just by, at this point, just by the way she skates. Yep, the just intensity, intensity with which, yeah, I mean, she hits that turn three, and she's just, I mean, she's locked in every single time. It's very impressive. Yeah, quite distinctive in that style. I was just about to say intensity as well to describe that sta skating style that makes Nat Splat stand out. Speaking of things that make skaters stand out, how about Gabe reckoning every time skating and doing a big old hockey stop right on the uh, jam line? It's beautiful. So many beginning skaters, you know, the hockey stop is that thing. But yeah. once you master it, it's a thing of beauty. Once you master it, apparently you do it every single time you're on the track and be as loud and, and uh, big about it as possible if you're Gabe reckoning. It's true if you earned it. <laughs> I guess so. You worked hard for that hockey stop. I mean, I never learned how to do it, so... <laughs> It takes some doing. It does take some doing. What takes some doing is getting past the blockers for both teams on this jam. Goodness gracious. T-Rex up near the front. Still one to beat, and she does so. Lead jammer for T-Rex of the Minnesota Nice. T-Rex in a scoring position. Sneaks through on the outside line, scores four points on that pass. Madison still has not completed their initial pass and exited from it. Madison Blocker is hunkering down on defense on T-Rex, not giving up an inch of that track. Earlier in this bout, T-Rex was clearly very excited to get lead. And by this time, she just kind of did it because it's her job. And she's like very businesslike about Lead Jammer. Just very professional, sticking to it, yeah. getting it done. <laughs> yeah, professional T-Rex. That's a, that's a kind of, honestly, a pretty funny concept for anybody who's hung out with her for more than five minutes. As long as that T-Rex profession isn't doing push-ups. <laughs> but she's not doing push-ups. She's doing laps. Madison right now, Madison Blocker's not letting T-Rex have a field day, though. Yeah, the pack has really tightened up on T-Rex that time. Mm -hmm. And they're telling her to call it off. Uh, no points being scored. Professional T-Rex making a professional decision, decision to call off the jam. That's right. Put it on her CV. <laughs> <laughs> on my resume, I call off the jam when it makes sense <laughs> to right. do so. Yeah, and or when right. I'm tired. That's right. And or if the coach tells me to. Exactly. All of those things. That makes but for not a good any other time. Yeah, no, no other time. I mean, there are, as with any situation, rare exceptions, but mostly not any time. Sodium Fina doing a little bit of lateral work out first as lead. And that would be Gertrude Awakening, not too far away at all, taking big strides around the turn. Big hit on the apex. Gertrude Awakening takes huge hit on the inside. Looks like neither team scored on that jam. Yeah, I know. I, I, I would have thought that one of the teams would have scored on that pass, but neither did, in fact. So our score right now is Minnesota Nice, 140. Derry Landall's 75. Looks like ooh. we've got an official review. I get so excited when official reviews are called, like, ooh, something's changing up. Maybe. What's happening? Someone has beef. They want to contest a call. It it's just gets my blood just yeah. I like all I like the notion that it's beef, like somebody has beef. Yeah. Hey, official, I got beef with your call slash non-call. Well, let's see. Our officials, as long as we've got the moment. Let's do that. For this bout, our skating officials, autocorrect, Duke Skellington, Elky, Hale Satin, Cupcake Battering, Devastator, and Bach Blocker. And our non-skating officials today are Edopathic, Allegory, Freya Mind, 
Bruce Springsteen, Aneurysm, Triple Destruction, Apron, Bianca Donk, and Ogre. I think we've seen some names from the 6 p.m. to the 8 p.m. game. It's true. Officials put in qu a lot of time into this sport. That's true. And we could not do what we do without their time and effort and rules learning. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's Fancy key. book learning all across, all across the way. Yep. So our skating officials, this is, I believe, a completely different set uh, for the second bout, which makes sense. I mean, you can get away with one set of officials for two bouts in a, on an evening, but tomorrow you can't go all day, so they're going to go probably back and forth with the two crews is what I would guess. Seems like a solid plan. May as well get everybody's feet wet this evening. Ew, like, like wet in sweaty socks wet? I was thinking wet in like yeah. the slip on your skates and fall oh. down wet. See, that, that came to mind. I was just thinking, you know, yeah. lots, and lots and lots of sweat. Well, we're not even wearing socks. Ha! Ha ha! Wait, you're not? I'm wearing sandals. You're wearing sneakers. These are special no sock shoes. Oh, okay, Whatever. cool. I'll tell you about them later. All right. Meanwhile, back on the track, Little Rascal is the jammer of record for the Minnesota Nice. She's lined up there with none other than La Marche Madness. A name you've heard before tonight. Little Rascal has one more to beat. Called lead just as she takes a tumble. She is back up again. The Marsh Madness called on a track cut penalty. So Little Rascal will have some time to herself as the only jammer on the track. Madison stacking that bunch of blockers trying to stop Little Rascal. I gotta be honest, if I was uh, Madison, I would not be enthused about the possibility of a Little Rascal power jam, given what we've seen her already do this evening on an even, uh, like, e you know, with everybody on the track. Yes, however, they won't let that phase them. They'll still leave it all on the track, even despite their lack of enthusiasm about the situation. Yeah, I don't think the blockers are phased in the least. No, they don't seem so. They are holding Lil Rascal at this moment as Lil Rascal looks for an opening. Madison Jemmer coming hot, hot into that pack, hitting hard. Madison Jammer called a LaMarche Madness, getting called on another track cut. Foot went out of bounds on the inside line, Lil Rascal is again power jam situation gets to run another scoring pass four points she is at 16 so far again she has the opportunity to call this at her leisure jam concludes without it being called off by the lead jammer, Little Rascal didn't see any reason as the Madison jammer had not yet left the box. So uh, Minnesota will start on a power jam. Was that a 17 point jam? It was indeed. Well, right you are, Reverend Kiljoy. <laughs> Excellent, thank you, Shug. So that was, uh, by my count, not maybe the second largest jam by Little Rascal tonight. Yeah, Little so Rascal. 16 and she had 24 earlier. Yep, yep, racking up the points for sure. Also looking to rack up points, starting on the power jam, Valkyrie. Valkyrie is your lead jammer. LaMarche Madness has re-entered, coming out of the penalty box on her initial pass. That time Val did a good job of following the path that LaMarche Madness had created through the pack. So Val's got those four points. Now both jammers on a scoring pass, and Val's going to call that one off. No reason to let their opponent score. Makes sense. Valkyrie uh, saw that other jammer leading up to score ahead of her and decided to stop the jam. Gave Reckoning again with that beautiful hockey stop on the line. Again, if you earn it, flaunt it. It takes so much time. <laughs> That's right. We have Nat Splat on the line for Madison. Seeing Breezes with the Jammer Star for Minnesota. I'm, I'm excited for this Jammer matchup because each of these Jammers has been extremely successful at times here tonight. Breezes was out front, now has to recycle all the way back. But Nat Splat was at the back of the whole time thanks to an excellent little three wall of uh, Gay of Reckoning, Brutal, and that's gotta be pretty reckless. 
However, Breeza says the jammer gets sent to the penalty box for Minnesota. Nat Splatt is called lead and on a power jam now. So it took 30 seconds, but Nat Splatt indeed lead on the power jam is, uh, ooh, hits the track in an awkward sort of way. It has to recycle back, so slows down for a moment. Only a moment. Only a moment. We've pointed out that Nat Splatt is a rather intense skater. Moves with a lot of quickness. However, called on a penalty. Breezes is now back in play. We switch up jammers for the box. That's right, so the forearm call on Nat Splat. Maybe more of a rare penalty as a jammer. Usually more track cuts, would you say, as a jammer? Track cuts and back blocks are real common, yep. Yep, yep, coming Every in Every once in a while you get a multiplayer block on a jammer. That's my favorite. You're like, that's, How did, that's so what weird. did you do? <laughs> How what? did you do that? I mean, you can, but why? <laughs> Just to, just to mess everyone, just to be strange. It's just a broken whip, I guess, most of the time. <laughs> All right, Breezes, uh, not exactly breezing through, and indeed forced to recycle there by one of the Dolls blockers. However, Nat Splat out of the box, finds that outside line, skating with that trademark intensity around the turn. I love that Nat Splat tur made turn three the exact same way she does every time, even though the pack was right there. Didn't even phase her. Giant hit on Nat Splat from Minnesota blocker. Pretty reckless. Yeah. Minnesota only had, it looked like two blockers engaged in that play, but uh, they were enough. ready. Yeah, that was enough blockers for yeah. sure. Yeah, big hit on Nat Splat. Just boom. Gertrude awakening and T Rex to the line. Gertrude in blue for the dolls, T Rex in black for the nice. Again, Minnesota with two blockers on the track. Minnesota Jammer called to the penalty. Did you see what uh, penalty that was? That was a track cut on T-Rex. Minnesota Jammer, Gertrude Awakening is on a power jam. Minnesota blockers left with two at the front. Gertrude Awakening finds a way to break through. So Minnesota's penalty box is uh, filling up at this time. They had four skaters in the box at once right there. Yeah, it's really hard to defend much of anything when you have two, let alone one blocker on the track. Yeah, it was pretty rough. Brutal held down the fort best she could, but... You can only do so much. I think that's who the blocker was that was on the track, mm -hmm. I think. Now there's just the one blocker and the jammer in the box for the nice. So Gertrude of Awakening is at this time on a power jam. Madison is going to call that off so they can preserve the power jam for the start of the next that's jam. A, that's a smart move. Definitely a smart move. Yeah, it makes for a strong start on a power jam. Dairyland Dolls looking uh, to get a leg up if they can. A little bit behind uh, 94 to Minnesota's 169. But prior to that jam, they were uh, Minnesota had more than a two to one scoring ratio on them. So they've definitely cut that down and cut into that lead. The timeout by Minnesota, hoping to regroup while they uh, still have two skaters in the box, including their jammer, T-Rex. Now, I don't know if it might just be me, but it seems like we have so much time left yet in this period of roller derby. I, I, don't, like I don't know why. Time has gonna, its way. It's going to feel like a long time to me because I'm tired and it's been a long day and I'm hungry. But uh, 13 minutes and 38 seconds on the period clock, so we'll, we'll see. So much time left, though. Madison had uh, a huddle before... 
The timeout concluded. No doubt hungry, they are hungry. You are hungry for food and dinner. They are hungry for some points to make up that difference. LaMarche Madness back to the jam line for the Dolls um, for the 11th time <laughs> is my unofficial announcer math. Uh, it sounds good, accurate. I'll back that, I'll, vo I'll vouch. And indeed, LaMarche Madness is your lead jammer. T-Rex back on the track, jamming. Passes the star to Itches B. Trippin, who makes a hasty exit to become jammer for this one. And that makes good sense since lead was closed and there was a great opportunity to pass the star, Itches B. Trippin, scoring four points for Minnesota. So Itches has not started as jammer much tonight, or at all, she is, I remember. She is not. I've, I've seen her jam quite a bit in the past, but we've not seen her start the jam as a jammer. Right. Probably yeah, she jams a lot in the home season, though. Right, right. So she, she, she makes for a good pivot, no doubt. Yeah, absolutely. Um, with that star pass being so successful and then making a scoring pass, it's always, it's always gratifying as a pivot to get points. Yeah. It just be tripping evades the last Madison blocker on what has become her power jam. As Madison's jammer was sent to the box, I didn't see on what penalty, but it just be tripping has gained time to score points unopposed. Big hit again by Pretty Rackless. And on the outside. Still three more points on that final pass by Itches B. Trippin on behalf of the Minnesota Knights. So 180 to 102, the current listed score with 11 minutes and about 15 seconds left on the period clock in the second half of the second bout of the Have a Nice Day tournament at the Doug Woog Arena in sunny South St. Paul, Minnesota. Yes, beautiful summer day in Minnesota. It doesn't just snow all the time. Winter is coming. But not for a, not for a while. Not so. for a while, but but that's what that's what the Minnesota Roller Girls All Stars mantra is. Yes. That winter is coming, and winter is coming in this jam for Sodium Fina, finding a way through the pack. Little help from her buddy Baller, scores points. Big hit by Baller. We have seen some huge, huge hits today. Both teams. As that's Nat Splat out of the pack. Maybe knew that jam was going to expire or be called off. Heads back to the bench. Yeah, those were definitely some very big hits. Huge hits. But like big hits remind me of old school derby, and there's nothing says old school derby like Minnesota versus Madison. Absolutely. I still remember back when I lived here 10 years ago, there was about where Madison came up and they played Minnesota and Minnesota beat them for the first time, maybe ever, maybe for, certainly for the first time in a long time. I had brought a group of about 30 friends and family to watch this bout and I was just sitting in the stands. It was one of the more fun derby experiences I've ever had as a fan. Well, there has been a long standing history between these two teams, both being in the Midwest, both being highly competitive. So that's no surprise that it was about to remember. Absolutely. I mean, the Dairyland Dolls, they wanted to be recognized as the greater team. Cheese pun. But on this jam, it's Little that was Rascal. A good pun. Thank you. This jam, it's Little Rascal slicing through the pack. <laughs> little Rascal asks herself, could she move any faster? I think she curd. <laughs> Come for the derby, stay for the cheese puns. That's right, folks. Oh, 
Rascal calls off the jam as she flies through the pack. No points for Madison. Timely call off by Little Rascals. Absolutely. She scored three points on that pass. Almost the full four. Timeout. Official timeout. Brought to you by our officials who are awesome. Our officials crew. Yeah. Officials crew in Minnesota. Jamming for Minnesota is 0707 Valkyrie. And goodness, I'm having one of those uh, one of those moments. Thank you. Gertrude Awakening, number 314 has gained lead jammer. Big hit by Esmer Halda in the back, slowing that jammer down. And Valkyrie, Minnesota, nice jammer, heads to the penalty box. So the Gertrude Awakening will be lead jammer unopposed for that time that Minnesota has their jammer in the box. Minnesota putting up a last couple blockers as far as they can go. But Gertrude Awakening does escape. We have a Minnesota blocker and the Madison pivot heading to the box. Gertrude Awakening hit out by the Minnesota defense. Valkyrie back in play, stepping around the outside, putting Jammer Star back on her head. Derry Landals will end that jam, having scored seven points. Minnesota Nice, no points on that jam. Official timeout. Just you know, if making sure we're all on the same page out there. What were you gonna say, something oh, useful? I, I was just filling dead air. <laughs> Well, actually, I was, I was going to say that if I were the Madison's uh, bench coach at this time, I might say to my players, now you have to go out there and grew your lead. <laughs> <laughs> they have to make up some points. The score is 195 to 109. So they have... That, uh, that cheese fun absolutely melted my heart. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good, huh? You are the queen of cheese puns. Thank you. You know what they, you know what they say about making bad puns? What's that? If you can't eat them, join them. Oh, oh! <laughs> Do you have a cheese pun cheat sheet? I, I made some notes during <laughs> halftime. <laughs> Just a couple oh, quick notes. God bless you. <laughs> that is true leadership right there. I, I have to, I have to fill my, fill my duties here. Oh my Fulfill God. my duties. And also taking care of business is Minnesota getting lead jammer on that jam. Breezes, number 14. And coming up on a scoring pass opportunity is LaMarche Madness for the Dairyland Dolls. Not much scoring in that jam. 3-0 in favor of the Nice with just about six minutes left in this bout on the period clock. On the jammer line four, this jam beginning with just under six minutes to go. T-Rex lead jammer for Minnesota Nice. Exiting the initial pass. For Madison is Crystal Ice. T-Rex absolutely on a roll right now in that jam, getting through the first pass with such a great jump step outside move. 
and a kind of somewhat similar move the second time. Jammers do have tend to have these things that they do that yeah. brings them a lot of success. So when that happens, they keep doing them. It's true, and it was awesome. It, it truly is. I hear a chant for Brutal Brit, I believe. Signature Scort. Oh, no, it wasn't a chant. It was asking her to <laughs> leave the track since Minnesota Nice's penalty box very full at the moment. They were only able to start with was it two blockers on the track? So Madison, Madison uses that opportunity. Gertrude Awakening gets a lead. They take advantage of that beautiful, beautiful apex jump by Gertrude Awakening. That was a great one because she was lined up for a hit by an opposing blocker, and she really had to dodge that in the jump, which is extremely impressive. A lot of these apex jumps, nobody's watching, and you're just skirting by somebody's back. But that yeah. time, avoiding a hit as well as making the apex jump. Excellent work. That takes extra agility. So Minnesota still having one blocker in the box to start. Madison has the opportunity to start with the full complement of blockers. They will need that complement of blockers to block Lil Rascal. And Minnesota has three blockers to take care of business and try to stop LaMarche Madness. <laughs> Lil Rascal finds room on the inside. She starts this off strong as lead jammer. LaMarche Madness now out after a little, you know, star stash, but no longer stashing, just holding. Little Rascal was holding out her arms like she might be calling off that jam. Decides to take a moment and reevaluate, reassess. One more to beat as LaMarche Madness comes to the back of the pack. Little Rascal holding out her arms, trying to, trying to get signals from her bench coaches. Right, well, Rascal was expecting to call off those jams and take her points, but instead the bench wanted her to clear the penalty box of her blockers. And, and that makes a lot of sense. She does that at the time once Minnesota has gotten out of their bit of, bit of penalty trouble that they had been in. So they have the opportunity to start fresh, clear the box, yeah, yeah. Just, just clean slate. And when you have a lead, you can make decisions like that. You can trade points for points because your lead stays the same and your teammates are out of the penalty box. Yeah, it's a good strategic place to be in. Really gives you a... A lot of power. With great power Sorry. comes great responsibilities. I'm full of cliches. <laughs> That's fine. For now. <laughs> For now. Something to work on. I need to get my own material. Now, if you could have turned that cliche into a cheese spun, I would have fallen over. I'll so work on that. I'll work on that. For health and safety that you didn't do that. I'm going to work on that. No need to make any cheesy puns. Valkyrie is your lead jammer for Minnesota. And on a power jam currently after the Madison jammer was sent to the penalty box. Madison blockers doing a good job of reforming the wall up front, two and three skaters at a time. Minnesota doing a bit of offensive blocking, but it's not enough to slow that down. And Val does get through for those four points. Had to earn every one of them. Indeed. Madison Jammer comes in hard and tough. Bit of a tumble there. Looks like Valkyrie got caught up. Recovers though. And Madison is ready for her approach. Oh, wow. Nat splat, takes a bit of a splat after fancy footwork, not quite going the way that she planned. Minnesota calls off that jam. And time Val listening to her coaches to call off the jam as she's falling down, trying to like, do I, can I call it off and not land on my face? That was, the, that was the move. A nice little spin so she landed more on her backside. That is the badass way to call off the jam. Yeah. I got it. 
With great power comes great recordability. <laughs> I mean, it, <laughs> that's the best I can do. Well, I mean, the word "great" goes both ways, but it doesn't really. You can't. You can't hear the pun in that. You know. Ah, so close. It doesn't work on its own. So close. That's all right. You know, Hopefully. I mean, I'm sure Minnesota will play. Madison again, and more yeah. cheese puns will be had. Well, hopefully you'll be able to uh, announce Madison. Uh, you should announce a Madison game tomorrow or Sunday just for cheese puns. <laughs> I mean, we need people to announce these games. I, Nobody yeah. signed up for a few of them. So. Oh, I, I might be actually enjoying uh, this Minnesota sunshine tomorrow. What? I, I know. It's crazy. What? I should be indoors working Bastards. on my anti-tan, as good Minnesotans do. That's right. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> You know, jumping into a lake is optional. That's a good idea. You know, during those two months that we have of summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. Aren't you glad you came back? We're happy you're back. It's nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, yesterday, like, I picked up my kid from school, and we came home, and we walked to Lake Phelan and went to the beach at Lake Phelan. It was fantastic. Nice. That's, that's what days like that are for. Days like this, however, are for roller derby. Accurate. Absolutely. So this official review by the Dairyland Dolls. I want to say, like, and we have an official review brought to you by I the know. Dairyland Dolls. That's pretty much what it is. The right. sponsors of this official review, yep. officially. I mean, even though there's no, like, exchange of money involved, otherwise that'd be really weird. That would be awkward, yeah. That'd be, that'd be some under-the-table, uh, sneaky, uh, shady stuff. The Jammers enjoying a pleasant and humorous conversation during this official review. Talking See, about Jammer the, things. Yeah. I mean, the blockers, they get to just talk to their own friends. They don't have to mingle too much with the other team if they don't want to. But the Jammers are kind of stuck like, well, do I just stand here and look tough? Or do we have a conversation like humans? Yeah. Like, we're both stuck behind this line in the sand yeah. or line on the cement. So we should just, you know, we might as well chat. Get to know each other. Talk about our hopes and dreams. That's right. Yeah. Let's build a lasting bond here behind this jammer line. Yeah. Yeah. Until the whistle blows, then it's war. <laughs> yep. And let the battle resume. All right. So 220 to 123 is the listed score. Only 40, 140, 30 something seconds left on the period clock. T-Rex is your lead jammer for the Minnesota Nice. This could be the last jam of the evening. Crystal Ice at the top of the pack on her initial pass does get out. Let's see what T-Rex does with that lead jammer status. She might choose to extend this period. We don't quite know yet. Crystal Ice slid around the outside for the Dolls, but unable to stay in balance, had to recycle, and now is recycling back on the inside as well. T-Rex calls it off as soon as the period clock ends. So four points to four points on that final pass will not change the outcome. Your hometown Minnesota Nice are the glorious victors of this roller derby bout. And our home team is very happy for their win, no doubt, but also thrilled to continue to host this tournament in South St. Paul at the Doug Wilg Arena. We will look forward to seeing you back tomorrow for more roller derby action. Yes. Indeed, you are right. And if you're watching the stream from home, there may or may not be announcers for the first couple of bouts tomorrow. So, But it'll be still we'll be see. worth watching. Yeah, there's yeah. still derby, so you can still see it. I you mean, it's, it's like you get to... Just do your own commentary. That's right. You might have to pay attention to watching it. But you can curse. You can say anything you want in the comfort of your own home. But do not forget to tune back into our live stream of Have a Nice Day B-Team Tournament. Fun will be had. All right. So that's the end of the night. First day of... Have a nice day in the books. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow.
Yeah, that sounds like a plan. We'll see you tomorrow. Check back right. and have a lovely night. Bye. Bye-bye.